Hello guys. So yesterday during watching Top Hat and Champagne's live stream, something terrible happened. My Razer Naga mouse broke and I was forced to turn my whole gaming computer off. I wasn't able to game on that computer ever since, and I had came to the conclusion that I had to have a new game and mouse. I looked up some reviews and it turned out that the Logitech G502 was a good game and mouse, so I decided to get it. I didn't get it from Amazon, I got it from Walmart, and they fucking charged a lot, so Logitech, you better fucking give me a free blowjob. Anyways, I'm going to show you some video footage of how the, the mouse basically worked for me, and they were each set at different DPIs, so each might be a little different than the other. My current DPI is around 600, I believe, I'm not sure. It's somewhere around 600, 700, 800, 900, maybe 500, somewhere around that range. I can't look at the moment, but check out this gameplay and I'll come back to you with my thoughts and stuff like that. Yeah. 
Networks neutralized. Reaper down. KIA. Neutralized. Neutralized. Assisted spray charged up. Scrapped it. down. Neutralized. So, I might sound different, but that's because I decided to postpone this video till the next day because I was tired when I was making the video, and now I can think more clearly about what I want to say. So, the videos you've seen of gameplay were tested at different DPI settings, meaning that I had to select the sensitivity, and I think the one I use now at this current day is 1000 DPI because I can't really handle a lot of DPI it's too strong and if I slightly move my wrist the whole thing flies everywhere so yeah 1000 DPI is good enough for me so how does the Logitech stand out well compared to my old Razer mouse which I've given to my mother because it cuts on and off now and it's almost dead eh, 
it's almost the same. The only thing I have a problem with with the Logitech G502 is the fact that the weight way in the back makes it feel uncomfortable. I thought my cord was getting stuck to something, but it turns out that the weight way in the back was just too heavy. So I removed it and just left the other weights right there, like the weight that's next to the middle one. Yes, you can remove the bottom of the mouse and then put weights there, but I don't think of it anything that special. Honestly, I wish they would just put it a certain weight and leave it that way to make it feel comfortable instead of me having to open the back of it and making it comfortable, but that's what you get with the mouse, I suppose, if people like to customize it. But when it comes to customization, it's not really a big key with this mouse because I can't change the color of the G light because I have a green keyboard and I have the light glowing blue. Come to think of it, the only thing that matches with my Logitech mouse is my Dragon War Revolutionary speakers, which those things are fucking beast. For computer speakers, those things are very, very, very loud. So yeah i i like my speakers and i like the fact that the loggy tech can match it but when it comes out my keyboard stands out and that might be a, a something i could fix in the future when i get a different keyboard because this one i got right here feels very cheap and it's only a placeholder for now but like i said you can customize the weights for the mouse but you can't really customize the light in which i find an issue because what if i want a red glowing neon light that's the G instead of the blue. Well basically the mouse is just saying fuck you. You can't do that. You can't have it a color you want. And when it comes to customizational features like having your weight and DPI, I don't understand why that one feature couldn't be added. But I'm gonna stop bitching about a light because I'm pretty sure people don't want to hear it. Overall I think for gaming that the mouse is good and it can do, but I just think that I'll need to find my DPI to truly have my game set and when I get when that actually gets done I'll be happy with what I have anyways I'm done with this I know it hasn't been too positive but a hey, this is why they don't give me free products to review because I am honest not saying it's a bad mouse but I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and say it's the best mouse in the entire gaming world and you should get it because it's the only mouse with the biggest DPI and everything like that and the best of the best I don't sugarcoat stuff I don't treat it like it's the best thing in the world because I don't get paid and I don't give a fuck. So yeah, I'm out with this.